a few things about my boyfriend, my first serious boyfriend, Ken Tenak, who was, I was with for actually a long time. We had actually been together. Um, we met, you know, when we were quite young. Uh, I think he was 17 and I was 19. He was about a year and a half younger than me. Anyway, um, and we met because his parents were Jehovah's Witnesses too. Um, anyway, so anyway, so we um, we were together for a while, and then we broke up for a while, and then we got back together, and we were together again for you know some years. But uh, anyway, a uh, couple things about Ken. It's like he worked for Hills Pet and Feed, which um, the store is still there. It's on the corner of uh, Vermont and Redondo Beach Boulevard, and um, it's uh, on the north. Uh, west corner and the store still there it's not Hills Pet and Feed anymore it's actually it was Hills Pet and Feed up until maybe oh probably six or seven years ago something like that it, they would still use the name but now it got you know it's now uh, because it, but it had been bought out it was owned by the Thompson family uh, his friend Rodney Thompson was the owner's son um, and we got to know him really well it's like he was a nice guy he actually also lived in the far end of Gardena I think at one time he was living on Electric Avenue um, Electric Street in, in Gardena uh, next to the cemetery there uh, Roosevelt Cemetery anyway um, so anyway he worked uh, for Hills Pet and Feed and uh, he did like everything there stocking and so on and it's like and I think he was working there when I actually first met him um, but that was you know it's like in Rodney Thompson Thomas Thompson I think it is um, he was his friend um, and um, uh, like I said, it's like it was. It's kind of nice that the the store is still there. It's a different name. It's called Pet and Joy. The Pet and Joy place, it was which was over on in another shopping center, moved over and took that space over. So uh, thank God. And so I'm just glad that it's still a pet store. I don't know what happened to the Thompson family, and you know, it's like he, apparently he sold the business many years ago. Uh, but um, but anyway, that's how I met him. And it's like we used to hang out at the pet store, which was a lot of fun. And uh, he also, Ken also worked for um, uh, Ralph uh, Parsons, um, which is, I um, can't remember exactly what they did. I'd have to look it up. Oh, electric, uh, um, something to do with mechanics or something. Um, and it was uh, big, you know, Ralph Parsons was um, actually still alive. You know, he was an old man uh, when he was working, when he, when my, he was working there and his friend Doug was also, I think his, Doug, no, actually not his friend Doug, I think, um, uh, my sister's uh, husband, you know, then husband, um, Frank uh, Garcia was actually working there. I think that's what it was. Um, and um, it was up, up a ways up, I can't remember it was up a ways and, you know, at one time I think it was with Pasadena or it was in LA. But anyway, so he wor did work and he did electromechanical design. Yeah, that's what it is, his uh, career was. He was an electromechanical designer. And he was very good at it because he was very artistic. You know, he did a lot of really neat things, you know, like, um, um, you know, art projects and so on, and uh, some just fabulous stuff. I actually have a picture of one of his art pieces that he did, um, uh, which I'll share sometime. Um, he, uh, another thing about Ken is he liked uh, Saturday mornings. He was like really into, you know, it's like here he is, like by this time he's like well into his 20s, you know, it's like, and he's still watching Bugs Bunny every morning. So every Saturday morning, that is. Uh, so he would watch it every mor Saturday morning religiously and he didn't dare like interfere with his Bugs Bunny watch. <laughs> it's just one of the things, the odd things I remember about him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like I was trying to think of something else. It's like, but uh, I'll, I'll add some more stuff about videos about Ken later.